everybody welcome back to my channel i'm tired i'm out of breath <laughs> doing a lot of work around the house so this is uh, a part two to my black friday purchases um julio took me out to joann's on black friday and let me purchase a couple of things well he purchased me a couple of things so i got a diamond painting i've never bought a diamond painting from joann's before i believe it's diamond dots which i don't own any diamond dots um, canvases and then I got some yarn like I need any more but I can always use more <laughs> so let's start the yarn first and then we'll open up the diamond painting and see what we got you guys okay first color I got was this neon striping heart uh, striping yarn by Red Heart Super Saver. It's Red Heart Super Saver Stripes. Um, it's not, it's soft, but it's not as soft as what I'm used to. Um, and this is only 236 yards. Probably gonna have to, if I'm gonna do a blanket with this, I'm gonna have to go in for more. I just got what I can get my hands on at the time. Um, yeah, so I got three of these to start off with. And to match them, I got some solids. So here's the first solid. T, if you're watching this, pink. Pink, girl. I love, we love pink. <laughs> we love pink on this channel. And I had to go with the hot pink. There's a little bit of hot pink in these stripes. And I thought this would be a nice solid to do this. This color is called Hot Pink, and they have a dye lot number and stuff, but I really don't pay attention to dye lots. I just I just pick up what I pick up. And they tell you to use a 5 millimeter hook, but I'll probably use a 5.5. That's been my favorite so far. Tag came off of this one, but I also got a neon blue. And these are by um, Big Twist Value. So I figured the blue will go with this one. And the last solid I got was slime. <laughs> and I think this one goes pretty well with this one. So those are the solids and stripes I got. I usually always get stripes and solids for blankets that I make. Unless it's ombre yarn and stuff like that. But that's the first set. Oh, and all the yarn was 30% off. So I got everything for like $3 and some change. Not too bad. And I got some odd colors that go to other blankets that I am going to be making somewhere in the near future. I got some like a beigey brown stripes yarn and I needed some dark brown. So I got this dark chocolate brown. It's called chocolate brown. <laughs> um, and I think I got two of these. Maybe just one. Uh, just one. So, just to get started. I also always need black for something. I think I got the black for the neon blanket that I'm going to be making that I just showed you. So, I got a roll of black. And I am also going to be working on another pink blanket. I already have the stripes from that. Actually, I can show you the yarn that because that's also a black friday sale i'll go grab it after this here's some more pinks this one's called cosmetic pink and baby pink love the pinks on this channel let me go get the other bag and i'll be right back okay you guys so some of the other stuff i bought from joann's was this white big twist value And as a set for my sister to make a blanket for her, I got this purple, this purple uh, ombre striping yarn. So I had gotten three. There's a third ball, but I already cracked it open. So, and I had gotten two of these purples and I did get a plum color, but I think it, it's in another bag somewhere. It's like a darker, darker purple color. So yeah got that 
And these were all 30% off. Here's the pink to the striping yarn. Oh, I have another neon pink. This is the pink striping yarn that I got for the pink blanket. But I also need this for one of my other blankets that, that is currently a whip. That's for myself. So whatever gets used up first. <laughs> I got three of those pinks. And then some of my absolute favorite yarn that I have I have recently discovered and fell in love with. I made my first scarf with it. Um, this Karen um, Colorama Halo. Um, and it fades from light to dark. It is super soft. It has this fuzzy, can you see? This fuzzy halo to it. Um, this is so soft. This would be nice to make something for a baby. Like a little um, cardigan. Because it's just so soft to, on the skin. It's not rough at all. So I got this color to make um, some granny squares. I want to start making a blanket out of this. And I want to do a granny square blanket out of smaller granny squares. Um, this is called Harbor Frost. And to make another scarf, I got this yellow in the same brand, the Halo. And this one is called, where's the color? Beeswax Frost. I also have this in pinks, black and gray. I, I've been shopping for weeks, you guys. I've been doing a lot, a lot of damage. Um, but <laughs> these are my Black Friday purchases. I love these yarns. I normally just don't buy these at regular price. These particular um, yarns are $12.99 a roll, you guys. Oh, ouch. It's a little pricey. I want it, I would say it's worth it because the texture is so nice and it's so soft and it makes really lovely scarves, like drapey type of scarves. And this would probably make a really cozy blanket. But if you were gonna make a blanket out of this, like a large blanket like I like, you gotta catch the, the yarn on sale. I got these for $7.99 on sale at Joann's versus the $12.99. And I think on top of it, uh, I had a 20% off the total purchase coupon. So I probably got them for a little bit cheaper, you guys. So as everything has been going on sale this month for Black Friday and pre-Black Friday sales, I've been grabbing tons of these yarns in different colors um, to stock up because once they go back to $12.99, I probably won't pur be purchasing them again until I have another coupon or another sale happens. So... You just got to be smart about it. Some yarns are cheaper than others. And it's unfortunate. The really, really nice ones like this stuff. It's just so, it's so pretty. $12.99 is just so friggin' pricey. And I think all the Karen cakes are like around the same price. And they're all really beautiful. All the Karen cakes, the macchiato cakes, all the cakes I've seen by Karen are really, really pretty. But they're all like 13 bucks. It's just too much. But I just, I can't wait to make another scarf and start a blanket. Um, yeah, you guys. So, that's it for my Joann's. Oh, no! Oh, my God! I didn't even show you the diamond painting. And probably half of you are here to see the damn diamond painting. So, the diamond painting, you guys, is a diamond dots. Comes in a box. Um, instructions on the back. And I got the solar system. It was between the unicorn and the solar system. But since, you know, I'm a fanatic of space, I got the solar system. Um, we're going to open this up and see what, if you've never seen a Diamond Dots kit. I guess we're going to find out today because I have never seen a Diamond Dots kit. Oh, the kit was $27.99 at Joann's, the Diamond Dots kit. And it was 50% off for Black Friday, you guys. So, that was by far the best deal I saw as far as diamond paintings was concerned. I was, I, I shopped around and looked for diamond paintings to buy for Black Friday before, during, after. 
and a lot of the premium companies were like buy two at full price and get one for free or buy two or one at full price and get one half off. To me, I mean, some of you may think that's a really good deal, but I'm still paying full price for at least one or two diamond paintings. So I'm not really, to me, I don't feel like I'm getting much of a deal. I rather have gotten 40 or 50% off one painting. Um, but that's just me. I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I did purchase from Common Canvas Designs. On Black Friday, Julio bought me a premium canvas from them, one that I had my eye on, um, and they were offering 40% off one canvas. So that was a pretty good deal because they were like $62, and I think I got the can, well, I got 40% off the canvas, so fairly cheap, and shipping was only 5 bucks, so it wasn't really that bad. I think I paid only $40 for the canvas. So this is pretty creasy. I hope this is I hope this is poor glue because I'm rolling it back, you guys. This is super vibrant. Very thick cover sheet from what I can tell right now. I don't like how this was rolled though. Where the top is kind of Okay, so the fabric size is 38.48 by 41.2, and I don't know, this is, this is like a 30 by 33, the, the design, um, a little bit bigger than a 30 by 30, you guys. Does it tell you how many colors? 36 colors? 36 colors. The canvas is not even. We already know how I feel about a, any colors past 25, 30 colors. I think you're doing too much. But 30 colors, 36 colors for this small canvas, I think is a little too much. Um, it's not even that big. We don't need that many colors, you guys. But it is what it is. Um, this should be a quick workup, even though I do see quite some, quite a bit of confetti. Um, everything is mostly symbols, couple letters, couple numbers, not that many, but lots of symbols. Um, color list or schematic, however you want to phrase it, is on each side of the canvas, numbered with DMC codes and, you know, serial number or whatever. I don't, Diamond Dots logo on the canvas. This is like a, this isn't soft velvet, that material. I, you know what I'm talking about when you hear it, that material. Um, so it's going to need to take some flat, flattening out to do. I may just roll it up and put it back in the box because I don't know when I'm going to work on this, quite frankly. Um, and I'm moving right now, so it's it's probably better off in the box because I have so many loose diamond paintings under the mattress, sitting out on tables, getting flat. Um, yeah, I don't. Oh God, I just destroyed this. Now it's definitely going back in the box. All right, let's look at their toolkit in case you guys have never seen their toolkit. So you get a glittery clear, um, you know, plastic pen. Get a squishy. Well, never seen a gray tray before, but you get a miniature gray tray with a spout. You get a straightener tool. I don't know what. Oh, did they get? I was going to say, they didn't give me a multi placer, but they gave me a straightener. Um, one plate of circular wax. I'll definitely keep that. I like the circle wax in the containers. Some baggies, but it doesn't look like there's enough to bag up the whole kit. And what is this, a five placer? These thick clear ones. I'm just gonna keep it, put everything back in the bag and keep it all together. I mean, I'm 
excited to, to get a Diamond Dots. I, I've looked at their site a couple times and just haven't found anything of interest. I've seen them in Joann's before and um, I don't know. I just kind of bypass them. I'm not going to really undo this because it's it's I've already ripped it and it's but it's still neatly placed in here. But we have some pinks, some greens. Oh, see, all about jinxing myself. Uh, just take it out, girl. It's going to go back in the box. Red, yellow, orange, yellow, blue, dark blue. A lot of that blue. 8129 and 8128. I guess they're a tone off. One's darker than the other. A lot of blues. This is 939. I don't know. 8157. I don't know if their codes, they have their own DMC codes. I'm not sure. I'm just going to breeze through it. I'm not going to have to name all the codes. Is this a 939? So I don't know. They all look like 939s because they're dark navies. And they have the Diamond Dots logo on the train. On the train bag. Pretty colors. A lot of these natural colors I'm assuming are for the planets. The browns and the yellows. Was that a gray? Chocolate brown and green. So, not too bad. I'm happy. I'm excited to work on this kit. I've never worked on a Diamond Dots kit. I, have, I haven't heard anything negative about Diamond Dots um, kits. Um, everybody seems pretty happy with them. So... You know and what is this instruction manual so they give you instructions in case you don't know how to diamond paint and you're new so I'm just gonna roll everything up I don't want to do this I just I like everything to be flat but it's better off in the box since I'm moving Let's see if we can get this back in the plastic. It came in a nice plastic, like, duster bag. I like to try to get it back in there. Okay. So we got it back in a little duster bag. So it'll keep it safe during the move. And we're going to just put it back in the box. And then, since I didn't destroy the box, opening it up. Now let's see if I can get these drills back in the box. And the toolkit. Okay. So you guys, um, I'm pretty pleased with the diamond, with the way the diamond dots kit looks. I'm not I'm not mad about it. I'm even more happy that I didn't have to pay $30 for it. Um, I don't really necessarily think it was worth the $27.99 or whatever it was. Um, but getting 50% off was definitely worth it. Because um, it's not even that big of a canvas. So, I mean, it's one thing if you're paying a lot of money for extremely big canvases. But to pay a lot of money for canvases that are like a 30 by 30 I think it's unnecessary, but um, I'm really excited to try them. And of course, you guys, when I start this kit, you will be the first to know. And you can follow along with my progress. So, that was it for my Joann's Black Friday haul, you guys. Of course, I went crazy on the yarn. I've been doing nothing but going crazy with buying yarn the past month. We're gonna we're gonna put that time span as far as a month, maybe even two months. I've been the past two months. I've been going crazy, um, but a lot of it is for gifts. Some of it's for my new home. Some you know one blankets for my stepson. So you know once everything gets completed, 
a lot of the yarn in my stash is going to be gone because all the yarn that is in my stash and making up my stash right now are for projects that I am currently working on. So once those projects get completed, I'm going to have to re restash up everything. <laughs> because I'm not going to have any yarn on my shelves because all the projects are going to be finished. So that's the only reason why I have so much yarn right now because I'm doing so many projects. But, and I also got to bust the move and start getting these diamond painting um, Christmas gifts. You know what? While I have you guys here, I'm going to show you the Taylor Swift custom diamond painting came in. Remember how I showed you the Taylor Swift diamond painting I purchased from AliExpress. It was busted. Um, that was supposed to be a Christmas gift for my boss. Um, I ordered, I ended up finding a better picture of her and I ordered a custom off AliExpress. So while I have you here, let me show you the custom real quick. So it's a 30 by 40. And here's Taylor. I'm not really a big Taylor Swift fan, but my 40 something year old boss, male boss is, he loves Taylor Swift to each his own, not making fun of him. Um, there are 30 colors in this and there are either ABs or fairy dust. So let me see if I have the drills nearby and we'll take a look. But I think this is a much better canvas than the one that I purchased that was already pre-made um this custom looks a lot better her face is huge so the detail is going to be there with the drills and there's only a little bit of clothing down here so I think this is going to turn out beautiful I'm really excited about this okay here are the drills let's see what we got we got Looks like fairy dust diamonds, you guys. I ordered a fairy dust custom kit. And here's one. Here's two. And here's three. So three fairy dust diamonds. Excuse me. 5200N, which is fairy dust. I know it's very hard to see on camera, but you got to look really, really close. That slight shimmer, that's the fairy dust. We got a lavender. You could see the little, I can see it in the camera, the little bit of shimmer. They just have a different type of glow to them. I call it a glow. And maybe the purples you could see a little bit better on. See? How pretty. And I'm assuming these are going to go in her clothes. Number 30, V. And number 28 is T. Let's take a look. So yes, the lavender is going in, in here. Where is the V? She's got nothing but purple on the bottom. And there's a couple in the shadow of, in the shadows of her ruffles. This is a ruffled top that she is wearing. Um, so yeah, pretty much all the purple fairy dust is going down here. This white 29U is also going down here in her outfit. These white spots right here, these are all fairy dust. So none in her skin, but that's A-OK. -okay. I don't think I really want her having a fairy dust glow. She might look like she has too much highlighter on her. And she's not really like my female portraits that I normally do that have a little bit more of a cartoony look to them, where they look OK with ABs on their skin. She is... A human person so I don't think she would look good with that type of sparkle on her face so thank God they kept it plain for her her facial part and her hair and they only put, chose to put the sparkle in her ruffles in her outfit I love that did come with an inventory sheet here's the picture of her I think it looks absolutely fabulous. I'm, I have high, I have more high hopes about this canvas than I did about the other one that I showed you guys when I first bought the all white one. Um, that one was just her face was too small, but this one, this one's gonna have detail. I, I have 
a really good feeling about this canvas. I think she's going to come out really, really swell. I know a lot of you really wanted to see what the new Taylor Swift canvas looked like. You definitely suggested to me to order a new Taylor Swift picture because the other one was busted. And I agree with you. She was totally busted. I think this one's a, definitely a better choice. I'm glad I went this route of getting a custom. And she came just in time, right before the end of November. She, I was getting worried because all my customs for Christmas gifts were already in and she wasn't yet. Um, but she finally came in, you guys. So um, I think I paid close to $10 for her. Um, may or may not have paid shipping. Um, wasn't too bad. I mean, it's a custom. So anyways, you guys, if you enjoy my content, um, I would love it if you like, comment, subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for returning and continue to support my little channel. Um, you are much loved here, you guys, and I enjoy spending time with you. So Without further ado, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.